What it do? Today we are going to be doing a review on the Nike PG1 and ultimately answering the question, are these the best affordable hoop shoes out right now? Y'all ready? Let's get into it. Right now, we are looking at the Nike PG-1, which is Paul George's first signature sneaker. And very important to mention, they come with a $110 price tag, which is very affordable compared to a lot of sneakers on the market right now. And with that $110 price tag, you are going to be getting some advanced technology from Nike. Not the newest stuff that they have to offer, but it does incorporate a lot of my favorite features into a sneaker. So I got to say, very solid for this price range. First thing you might notice is the four foot strap right here, which was actually Paul George's idea and request when he was letting Nike designers know exactly what he was looking for. The lockdown feel was a must. At first when I saw it, man, I thought it might be just all for looks, but I gotta say the Nike flyer wire right here is incorporated into the construction of the shoe, and that means the more you tug onto this strap right here, it is gonna lock down that whole portion of your foot. So I gotta shout out to Nike for making this strap pretty effective, because it does work. And if you don't really like the four foot strap, it's something that you can't really get used to. What you can can do is actually cut it off right here where the fly wire part is wouldn't really recommend it kind of looks a little plain in my opinion looks better with the strap but it is an option it'll be interesting to see if people actually cut off the strap so we got the strap we also got the suede upper right here we also got a translucent sole and one thing I got a shout out to Nike for is actually putting the zoom air unit in the forefoot in the game of basketball you are gonna be putting a lot of pressure in the forefoot area so it only makes sense that the zoom air unit the bouncy the boing and the boing and the boing and technology is in the front of the shoe where you need it the most so Nike if you are watching please continue this no more zoom in the heel only in the forefoot Thank you. As far as fitting goes, they do run very tight and snug. This is actually something PG requested in a sneaker, and they do have an inner sock-like design right here. Not as hard to get on as a KD's, but as far as overall sizing goes, I would recommend you go true to size or maybe even a half size up. So overall, I gotta answer the question, are these the best affordable hoop shoes out right now? And my answer is for sure. Definitely a solid sneaker. I have yet to play a lot of basketball in them, but from what I have seen, you are gonna get your bang for your book. Aesthetically, I gotta say they are one of the best looking sneakers to come out in a while and I can't wait to see what other colorways they end up rolling out with and hopefully they end up doing the ID option on Nike.com. That would be pretty dope. Alright guys, thank you for checking out the Nike PG1 review. So far, we have seen the 2K colorway, which was very rare and hard to get. We also got this preheat colorway right here, which was a quick strike, kind of limited. But in March, we do have the bait colorway coming out, which will be mass produced to the public. Please leave down in the comments below what you guys think of the Nike PG1s. Do you think they are the best affordable hoop shoes out right now on the market? And that's pretty much it. And until next time, I'm out. Peace. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that video. Make sure you guys check out this video. Also, check out this video for $110, man. You guys got to let me know what you guys think of these. Do you think they are the best affordable hoop shoes out right now on the market? And let me know what colorway you're looking forward to most. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.